So I think a lot of the folks listening who might have a technical background mm -hmm. would assume that uh, this would result in slower transfer of data. Right, right. Because now you're managing the right. decentralization problem as well. Right, right. I think you mentioned earlier that you don't think it's going to be slower. So, so we initially thought that as well. So we, we initially thought because of the overhead that coming from the decentralization, we, it will be slower or hard to compete head to head with the, uh, the centralized uh, networks. But after researching a couple of years we're, with our uh, telco engineers, we now build Leap, this will actually be 4x better than a centralized version of it. Um, this is because the, the centralized version has to configure cent in a central manner, meaning that it's always slower to configure the network than while the network conditions always changing. Uh, but because it's decentralized, the network will self-heal and self-configure automatically, dynamically, and meaning that it will be performed much better. And secondly, because it's a decentralized network and you can, you are basically hiring on those between uh, point A to point B to transfer data. There's no concept of data congestion. So for example, like when, when you're using- It's kind of like a mesh network yeah. in a sense, right? Yeah. yeah. And basically if you pay premium, you can transmit your data faster than everybody else before everybody else. You'll be, you'll be highly uh, prioritized and then your data will be transmitted before everybody else. I mean, that's incredibly powerful, right? 